YouTube. Today I'm showing you how to crack restrictions code on your iPad. So it is quite annoying when you go into general and then restrictions and then someone set a random code. Essentially what they can do is disable heaps of stuff which I've just done just for this demonstration. And yeah, it kind of gets annoying because you don't know the code. So, if you don't know this, but there is a glitch where with the Bluetooth keyboard, um, with the Bluetooth keyboard, it glitches, and even though there's the one minute thing, it, um, like where it says you have to try again in one minute, five minutes, and then it keeps going. There's a glitch where it doesn't do that for Bluetooth keyboards, and you can just keep going. And what has what I've done is there is an app called Type to Phone, which I'm going to now. So let's just go away from the iPad just for a second. Got shit sensors out there. Um, type to Phone. Uh, you use you just connect with using Bluetooth. Your Bluetooth has to be on, and you just connect with your iPad, and it acts as a Bluetooth keyboard really um it just and it tells you up there what it presses and stuff. So just put this aside. Um what I've done is uh I have made an Apple script and you use it to to like run it. You need to use um, to run it, you need to use Apple Script Editor. So I'm gonna get it in my documents. So here it is. I'll upload this. There's a link in the description to Mediafy. Uh, open it up, and here it is. And what it does is it opens up this, and it quickly like bashes in code. So if I go back into, into restrictions, which you'll see now, uh, restrictions. Uh, if I keep trying, it'll after six, it'll just say try again in one minute. Um, but if with the Bluetooth keyboard, which is here, you can keep going. As you can see, it, it doesn't matter. See, it says try again is like that much. Doesn't matter. Um, so what this does is it puts in every single possible code from 0000 to 99999. So if I press run, it'll open up this and it'll type in all the codes. Which is not going to happen right now because I don't have the restrictions open. So if I go back, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that. I need to stop it. Just delete all this. Um, so if I go back into restrictions, open this up, and I run this, it'll start bashing in codes. So that'll happen until it stops and you use the failed passcode attempts to check out the code so if you record it you put a video on it you record it and it'll keep going so mine will go 20 and then it'll unlock just like that and then you can stop but once it unlocks you look at the video and if it said like mine mine said 20 Thing. You add, it said 20 failed um, attempts. If you, you know, if you, one sec, I'll get 20 in there again. So 20's there. Okay, I went too fast. Whoops. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did something. Okay. System. So it's on 20, so then what you do is you add one. So since mine was 20, I add one. So then the code must be zero. Zero. Code must be. I have to draw in here now. Zero, zero, two, one. And there you go. And then you can change it all. Blah, blah, blah. So. That was just a quick story. Links all in the description. Uh, 
the tractor fan did cost six bucks, but it's worth it. Yep, it's definitely worth it. Um, this app, Reflector, has another link in the description. This costs twelve bucks, but you don't really need that for this tutorial. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.